Hello everybody! Welcome back to the channel! We have another empties video, which I don't know how this happened, but this month it just flew by me. Um, it's been a busy one, and I don't know if it's maybe the transition into fall or what it is, but um, I, I feel like I just filmed an empties video like a week ago, and here we are again. Um, I, before we get started, I did want to just let you know what lipstick I'm wearing today, because I did bring it with me to show you guys. Um, so the color that I'm wearing today is the By Beauty, their new matte lipsticks in the color Chai, which... Oh, this color, it's so pretty. I cannot get over how, like, fall this color looks. It's just gorgeous. It's, to me, it's perfect if you have like more of a cinnamony nude kind of lip liner underneath because then it like makes it like perfect for fall like literally perfection and I feel like it goes with like you know more fall tones so so nice so I wanted to mention this really quick um we do have a lot of goodies to talk about today I have another box filled with products uh there's like always body care hair care ha like skincare makeup everything you can think of I did just want to take a second and just check in with you guys and see how you're doing see how you're feeling um you know I feel like depending on where you are in the world the pandemic is hitting you in different ways um you know are you are you doing okay mentally like physically are you healthy or how are you keeping up and then um, I think the biggest thing too in the chat if you guys can leave it down below in the comments is um, what is helping you kind of feel your best and get through this kind of transitionary season leave it in the comments let us know what's kind of helping you feel your best if you guys have been enjoying the content um, please do consider subscribing liking this video doing all those amazing things really appreciate it, it means a lot um, and yeah let's just let's get into the video let's get into these products why not so um, I'm going to start with some skincare first. I did finish this Avene Common Restore Nourishing O Cleanser. And this one I mentioned in two hauls because I had repurchased this. And this is what the texture looks like, by the way. I left just a tiny bit in here just so you guys can kind of get an idea. It's a super, super gentle cleanser. Um, like, it does not foam. It literally feels like you're taking... <laughs> It's gonna sound so odd, but like oatmeal puree and you're just massaging it into your skin, cleaning your skin, and then rinsing it off. It's so soothing. There is no fragrance. There is like nothing irritating about it. If you guys do have sensitive skin, if you have dry skin, th this is the most gentle product I've like ever, ever used. Um, I liked to use this in the morning only because at night it just didn't feel like it had enough going on with it to kind of really, you know, clean my skin, clean the pores. Like in the morning though, it was fine because I just had whatever skincare from the night before. It wasn't that much going on. Um, and I did like the fact that this was just non-stripping at all as well, especially for the morning time. Um, that being said though, I'm not going to repurchase for the time being just because I do prefer a foaming cleanser. I really do. It's just something I enjoy more when it foams i have two that i'm loving right now one's from say and the other one is from haru haru you would have seen it on instagram i've been loving 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 those because they're also super gentle um but this one was really great and like i said if you have like eczema especially or really dry skin this is such like a good one because it just does not dry you out which is important um then, oh wow, speaking of Haru Haru, uh, it's from their Wonder Black Rice collection. I love the packaging so much. Oh my god, if you guys saw my recent haul, you would have seen all of the, um, the different ones in this kind of packaging, and I just can't get over how pretty it is. Um, but this is the one that I actually had in my collection that I've been using this entire time. The one from the haul is the new one that they recently sent to me. Um, but it's their Hyaluronic Toner. It's literally a drink of water when it comes to a toner. It is amazing if you have oily or combination skin. This is probably the best product you can try out because there is no residue. There is no like texture left on your skin at all from it, like nothing. And the best part is that it's super hydrating because hyaluronic acid hydrates on such a high level and this is like very packed with it. Um, what's great about this is that you can, you can do a nice layer of this, slab it on, and your skin will dry to a normal skin-like finish 
and feel supple and hydrated enough so that actually you produce less oil um, which is the biggest myth about people that are oily it's like you shouldn't moisturize more or you shouldn't like use things that are going to be heavily moisturizing but at the same time it's like you can use things that are going to be moisturizing like this for example but you know it's a lighter consistency it's a water consistency you know it's very comfortable on the skin that's your skin still needs the hydration so it's important for you to still be hydrating it that way you're also not producing excess oil because your skin is dehydrated anyways long story short i really love this um the next skincare product though that i have which took me actually a while to finish up this is the cora organics uh turmeric brightening and exfoliating mask it's a two-in-one and um this one i actually I also really liked um, it was a very interesting mask because <laughs> when you pump it out it actually looks like very dark and almost poop like I guess you can say um, it's because it has turmeric in it and everything it's like a dark brown color and it has like all this texture to it um, which by the way I also have a picture of this up on Instagram and the texture picture as well of this um, but I like this a lot because it really 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 did a good job at like smoothing out your skin and like cleaning out your pores and just really really helping with texture and it because it is a two-in-one you can use it as a mask so like how I would apply it is I would put it all over and just gently kind of just get it into the skin gently and then I would um, let it sit for the duration of time which I can't remember it was like 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes something like that um, as I'm rinsing it off I would just wet my hands a little bit and I would start kind of lathering massaging it doesn't get all foamy or anything like that um, but you do want to kind of wet it just to get the formula to be emollient again and then I would just massage it and work it into the skin and I would literally use it as a scrub and then I would wash it off and my skin oh my god you guys it would be like a baby's bottom like it is so so smooth after using this especially like this area right here which can sometimes be very very textured because of pores and you know oily glands and everything oh my god this was so so good so the only downside to this is it's expensive like this was like 60 something dollars around that mark because i live in canada that was a pretty high considering it's a scrub but it's a two-in-one mask and it did take me a while to get through it i'm not gonna lie it did um, oh, and I also want to mention it's minty and it's tingly a little bit because it's minty So it's a really nice sensation on the skin as well All right, um, this was the philosophy renewed hope in a jar uh, refreshing and refining moisturizer This was just a little sample size um, And this one I actually really did like this. I was surprised by how much I like this It was very very comfortable on the skin like super comfortable super just like it felt good like it almost hugged your skin it was so nice this i would definitely recommend getting a sample trying this out if you are in the market for a new moisturizer um i really enjoyed this i wish i had more of it at the moment but i don't um the only thing with this one is like it is a refreshing and refining but i didn't like read into it to really like get to know what it means by refining so that's something for you kind of to look into a little bit if you're interested but it was very very nice and like soothing almost i don't know how to even describe it but i just enjoyed it um okay what else do i have for face I also used up this. This was the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum Sample. And this one, I really couldn't tell for the life of me if it did anything. I genuinely couldn't. The sample itself was quite small. Um, I feel like for a product like this, if you're gonna do a sample as a brand, you really should give more products so the customer can actually see if there's any results. I just, for the life of me, I couldn't even tell if anything happened. The formula itself was nice on the skin though. It was lightweight. I didn't have any issues. It's just, I didn't see a difference the next day or anything like that and I believe it's quite pricey as well um, so for me that's not going to be a repurchase or a purchase I guess you can say um, oh I had one more of the Caudalie Vino Perfect um, glycolic night cream which I did feature in my last empties video I had a second one that I recently used and I did like this if you're looking for something that is a two-in-one aka an exfoliating product but also a night cream um, this is this is great it was very nice um, because it does have glycolic acid in it it does exfoliate the skin but in a more because it's in a moisturizer it's it's a more gentle way of exfoliation and i did like the fact that like the next day after using this i did notice that my skin looked like 
things occurred the night before let's put it that like during the night like things definitely happened i feel like my skin would look like a little bit more refined it would look more glowing the next day so i did see a difference with this personally though i like to have like a serum and a moisturizer separate i do like doing those steps and it's almost like a self-care thing for me so i wouldn't repurchase this just because of that um, but if you're looking for something to like, save you some time like a quick go-to that would be very nice um, I also used another one of the One Size Secure the Blur Hydrating Under Eye Patches. So this was another one that I featured in my last empties and I just have a set of them so I'm just going through it one at a time. Um, but I did really enjoy these. They were very, very hydrating, very moisturizing. I do have a reel up on Instagram with this um, if you want to see like a whole tutorial on it. But um, I, I really love these. They are very moisturizing. They stay put. Um, they're a nice material. They're big on the face too, which is great like they do cover everything so I love these I just don't like the price tag which is the same thing I mentioned in my last empties I just think they're honestly just a little too overpriced for the fact that they're just under eye patches you know um for the, like this is so random I've been trying to use this up for the longest time but this is the Saint Ives calming daily cleanser with chamomile um I loved this because it was very gentle um that being said though now that I went I've tried a lot of different products since having this in my collection and trying to use it up. So for me, I don't see a place right now in my routine. But if you're somebody on a budget that's looking for a new face wash and you just want something simple, gentle, this, this will do just fine, you know? It was very gentle. There was no issues. I didn't notice a fragrance whatsoever to it. Um, yeah, there's no fragrance to it. Maybe like slight chamomile fragrance, I guess, that would naturally come off of it. But it's oil-free, it's cruelty-free, um, it's made with 100% recycled plastic, it's 100% natural. So I don't see any issues with this. Um, and I did, like I said, it did the job. It's just I prefer other ones right now. Um, oh my god, yes. Okay, this one I was excited to kind of talk to you guys about this. This is the Use to the People Superfood Air Whipped Moisturizing Cream. Um, so this is just a small baby version of it. This is what the inside looks like. I did scoop everything out only because this thing is so expensive if you went and bought the full size. So the texture of this felt whipped. I'm not gonna lie, it felt whipped, it felt rich, it felt nice, I enjoyed it, it felt nice. The only issue I had, which was very odd to me, is every time I use this in the morning time, I noticed my skin would get oilier faster. I think it's because this is so rich. So I used it in the nighttime instead, um, and I did enjoy it that way, but to be completely transparent with you, for the price tag of what the full size of this is, I just don't see the worth in it or the bang for the buck in it. It felt like a pretty normal moisturizer, even though it was like the texture was slightly whipped, it wasn't that whipped that it was like a whole new experience. Um, and not to mention too, like yes, this does have benefits to it, but honestly speaking, you can get the same benefits like from other brands for a fraction of the price. Even like K-Beauty brands, you can get honestly like a lot of the same benefits for like nothing compared to this. So I liked this, but I will not recommend it for you guys to go out and spend your hard earned money on this because it's just not worth it for a moisturizer. If it was like a serum that's doing a lot of different things and truly making a difference, then yes, I could see the worth. But for a moisturizer, Nah, I don't see the worth in that. So it's up to you. That's my word of advice. So I will not be re repurchasing that. Um, okay, next. I do have this uh, Kosas Sport um, Serene Scent AHA Serum Deodorant. And this was, this one you guys would have seen in my uh, Sephora BIB haul, which was a while back. But that's where I showed this. And honestly speaking, at first, I was like, okay, this could work. It seems like it's almost working. I, I kind of... I was a little bit like excited about it because you know it's a natural deodorant and I've been, I have been looking for one but I used it after actually working out properly. No. Um, unfortunately, uh, I did still smell and I definitely did still exhibit all the usual things. It's like I never put this on. Um, this doesn't really have a scent to it. It has like a slight fresh scent, but it's nothing to really mask anything or conceal anything. It's not enough whatsoever. It has this weird rollerball too, and it's very liquidy. So you put it on and it's like super like liquidy and wet underneath your underarms. And you're almost like uncomfortable to put your arms down because you're like, that's not, that's not right. It's too liquid underneath there um, and it doesn't dry fast either it takes a little bit so it's not a pleasant experience 
for the price that you're paying for this. Um, I didn't have any irritation because of the AHA. I know some people uh, did get irritated because if you're consistently using AHA underneath your arms, like if you're using it twice a day, let's say, it could be irritating, right? But this is very, very gentle. At least for me, I did, like I said, I didn't exhibit that. But if you are somebody that has issues um, with irritation underneath the arms, I would not recommend this for you. If you're somebody that is sweats, if you work out, if you're typically somebody that is heavier scented when it comes to sweating. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for you either. I'm personally not going to be repurchasing this. I just don't see the value for what it is and the fact that it really didn't work. Um, and the thing that surprised me the most is this has incredible reviews on Sephora. Like they're insane. People love this and I just really didn't see the hype in it. I had two more products that were actually just misses that I wanted to mention. So the first one is the Hourglass Concealer and I can't even, the name like fully is off of there. I can't even see it. But this is, um, it's their like a cream concealer and it's a very creamy concealer that's meant for either underneath the eyes or on the face. I got it for on the face. I wanted to just, you know, spot conceal blemishes and the usual with this and I have been trying to use this for multiple years now I'm not gonna lie I'm at the point now where I'm just really sick of it I just don't find that it looks nice on blemishes it actually highlights them more even though it's super creamy and the texture seems so great when you first like play around with it um, when you put it on the skin and it sits instead of it melting nicely and like hiding the blemish it actually just seems like it almost accentuates it this doesn't work well with all foundation types. I find that this, when I'm wearing a more matte foundation, really, really stands out. And it's just one of those products where, because of the price for it, I just really kind of am extra hard on it, I guess you can say. It's just not a product that I'm gonna be repurchasing and it's not one that I'm necessarily gonna suggest either. Um, so just wanted to kind of give that a call out. And then moving on, um, this was a miss as well. And this was only because for me, the formula wasn't something I really like. Um, this is the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. And this is in the shade Vitamin C, which looks so pretty. I actually was so excited for this product when I first got it. Um, it looked very, very pretty. I loved this. The color I thought the color was so gorgeous the only thing I actually don't like about it is the fact that when you apply it on the lips itself it almost feels very drying so I actually find that my lips get more chapped with this plus if my lips are dry at all and I put this on it unfortunately just highlights all the the dryness so I just for me like it was one of those things that those two things alone were already kind of deal breakers when it came to a lip product but then as well the color itself I don't know what it is about this color it just does not look good on me um, the formula it's like a moussey formula by the way so like right now on my hand the way you can see it that's it sheared out which is what it would kind of look like on the lip I expected more of this color on the lip like a little deeper but instead because it comes off like this very I don't even know like muted corally shade it doesn't look good with my skin tone like these types of shades don't usually but like the swatches didn't look like this on the models so I was just kind of disappointed I was really interested in it because I thought it was gonna be super good with like masks and it was gonna be super wearable but it just really didn't kill it for me it transfers in masks still it does go over your mask like it's not something that's even like transfer proof so I just I don't really see the need to keep it um, so that one's a miss. Now, let's move on to the body care and hair care super quick. For hair care, I have three products which are all dry shampoos. Um, so they are all the got to be dry shampoos. These two are my absolute favorites. They are the extra fresh, fresh it up dry shampoos. Um, I really, really like these. They just do such a great job at truly eliminating the oil in your hair. It actually makes you feel like you did wash your hair. There isn't a crap ton of residue. It's one of those products where even though it's a drugstore product at an affordable price you could even get it at walmart it's actually super super great quality i find this very comparable to the amica dry shampoo funny enough because that's another one that i used and i actually find this to be very comparable um it does have a wet slight white cast to it you do have to spray it about this far away so you don't get a crazy white cast um but it does have a slight white cast i find that if you let it sit in the hair for 30 seconds and then massage it in it's pretty good i really don't notice it in my hair and i do have pretty dark brunette hair especially at the roots um, I just absolutely love this though because it just cuts through 
anything. Um, it's amazing. And then the other one I have also by them. This is the brunette version. Same kind of thing, but just brunette. This isn't the extra fresh though. This is like their usual formula, which I like, but it's not as good as the extra fresh formula, if you're wondering. Um, this I actually really liked because it's like a root touch up in a hair like a dry shampoo so if you are experiencing some gray hair and you're like on the go you know what just you can just spray a little bit of this you're good to go it covers it up pretty well considering especially if you just have like a middle part or something and you just need something quick just to like just brush it up and also conceal a little bit this actually can be like a two-in-one it is pretty pigmented considering the fact that it is a brunette dry shampoo like if i put too much of this in my hair and then i went to like massage it in my fingers would literally be brown like that's how pigmented this is so i actually kind of like this more of a hack product like i said than necessarily repurchasing it as a dry shampoo now for a body product i have the olay cleansing and nourishing plus hyaluronic acid um, body wash this was one that i loved i loved the pump it is such a nice pump because it literally comes right back up um you get a nice amount i also like the packaging it's like actually cute um and then not just that but the actual product itself it foams so so well you guys it is like a proper foam and it's just smells delicious um, so far out of the three or four I don't know I can't remember how many they have I actually personally prefer the um, vitamin C one I just really like the way that smells but this one smelled like an absolute dream as well I really enjoyed it I know for a lot of people that are super dry though this may not be the best option it's not something that's gonna be great if you do have eczema like actual eczema or eczema prone skin it's not hydrating enough for that i would more so recommend the avino ones for that but if you have more so a normal um kind of a skin type body wise i think you would really enjoy this um i really did um this right here from neutrogena it's their hydra boost body gel cream it's for sensitive and dry skin it's fragrance free and it has hyaluronic acid so this unfortunately actually i didn't like it so initially i really did like it at first i was like whoa this is so cool it's so lightweight it's like super like you know gel like and it does come out like a gel but the only issue with this is for some reason i which blows my mind because it has hyaluronic acid i don't feel like my hands are moisturized enough after using this so um i actually found that I stopped using it because I preferred something more moisturizing because this just wasn't even remotely on par like I would use this multiple times a day it would annoy me because it doesn't sink into the skin immediately either it kind of like lingers a little bit so you're like trying to just massage it in over and over again sort of thing and it's very annoying to me when something is supposed to be a gel cream that it doesn't absorb and then just hold its moisture instead I find myself like five minutes later being like oh my hands are kind of dry again so for me that one was a complete pass I don't think it's something I'm gonna ever be repurchasing they do have a mini hand one that I actually like a lot more um, it had a better texture to it and it did actually hold its moisture better I get that that's a body one maybe that's why it's so lightweight like there's just there really isn't much going on but the fact that it's not even a little faster drying like the dry time is so long if i was to put that all over the body i would get very annoyed because i would be like wet and tacky for like a long period of time than compared to other creams so for me it's just it's not one that hit the mark um in my personal opinion and yeah that is it everybody thank you so much for tuning in today i hope you enjoyed this empties video you know taking a look at all the products i got to finish up this month um if you had anything you really enjoyed this month that you want to recommend please leave it in the comments and uh yeah talk to you soon bye now